If you haven't already, go subscribe to our new channel, Larry Elder Daily. That's right, every day we'll have a new video, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Click the link in the description below and subscribe to Larry Elder Daily. We'll see you there. Sage Steele is a broadcaster with ESPN. She happens to be biracial, and she's under fire for making this comment about Barack Obama. Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial. I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. MSNB Hee Tiffany Cross, not happy. <laughs> what? So that is undoubtedly a black face, whether or not she knows it, but it is most definitely not a black voice. Yet, I'm sure someone is giving themselves a big diversity pat on the back by having that modern day minstrel show Sage Step and Fetch It on the airwaves spewing her continued nonsense. Step and Fetch It? Oh, would y'all bring that big box in there? We ain't got no candy to fit in no box that big. This is uh, not for candy. Uh, that customer's got a hat on that was for Isn't that a little harsh? And by the way, didn't Tiger Woods' mom also say pretty much the same thing about people calling Tiger Woods black or African American? She says, hey, what about me? She once called herself half Thai, one quarter Chinese, and one quarter white. And this article about Woods said, quote, African American was too restrictive a term given his multiracial background, and that in particular, it excluded his Asian mother from the picture. Therefore, during childhood, Woods invented the term Cablin Asian. Oh, it does get complicated. Recall what CNN's Don Lamont said about Kamala Harris calling herself African-American. She is a black woman. She's a mixed race woman. When you see her, you see her blackness, but she is also South Asian. Her mom is South Asian and her dad is Jamaican. People, Latino people are people of color, but they're not black. They're brown people. She is a okay? woman of color, but she is a black woman. Okay, that's she, why I agree with that. I agree with that, but now, is she African-American? No, 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 no. But is she African-American? That is a difference. There's nothing wrong with that. No one is trying so to take down, anything let's away down, let's from her. Let's go down into her lineage. Let's I think you're falling, I think you're you falling into a trap lineage, of that. All she had to do was no, say, I am black, no, I'm but not I'm not African-American. Hey, I got an idea. Maybe we should ask Joe Biden. Well, I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Oh, it does get complicated. And what about Halle Berry? A new interview with actress Halle Berry is igniting controversy today over how the Oscar winner chooses to identify her own daughter. In the March issue of Ebony magazine, Berry is speaking out about her biracial daughter, whose father is white. Berry says she'll let her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Nala, make her own decision about her race when she's older. But Berry says she feels like she's black because she believes in the one-drop theory. The one-drop rule? <laughs> Well, by that definition, Tiger Woods is black. And recall how the hosts and panelists on MSNB Hee Haw mocked Mitt Romney for daring to have an adopted black grandchild. Even though he's in the Mitt Romney family, I guess the grandchild is still black. This is the uh, Romney family, yeah. right? Um, and if, and of course, there on um, on uh, Governor Romney's knee is mm -hmm. his adopted grandson, mm -hmm. who is an African American, adopted African American child, Kieran Romney. Any captions for this one? One of these things <laughs> is not. <laughs> one of these things. Does he yeah. do the same? And that little baby, front and center, would uh, be the one. And happy? isn't he the most gorgeous? My my goal is that in. 2040, the biggest thing of the year will be the wedding between Kieran Romney and Northwest. Uh, Can you imagine uh, Mitt Romney great. and Kanye West oh as in law? I, I think this picture famous. is great. It's it's really sums up the diversity of the Republican Party. Yeah. <laughs> really Every not. RNC. In June alone, consumer prices soared 5.4 percent. In May, it was 5 percent. These are the highest bumps since 2008. Higher fuel prices, higher food prices. Construction costs, housing prices, inflation isn't just coming, it's here. Have you protected your savings, your investments? If they're tied to the dollar in stocks, 
Bonds or cash? Well, the answer is no. You see, Birch Gold Group offers you an opportunity to hedge against inflation by diversifying a portion of your savings into physical precious metals. In fact, with a little known IRS loophole, you can even convert your IRA or eligible 401k into an IRA backed by gold and silver. That's right. With this simple move, you can convert your existing retirement savings that are tied to the stock market into an IRA with physical precious metals. It's your hedge against inflation. So contact Birch Gold Group to request a free info kit on physical precious metals. See if diversifying into gold makes sense for you. This comprehensive 20-page kit reveals how gold and silver can protect your savings and how you can legally move your IRA or 401k out of risky stocks and bonds into a precious metals IRA. Birch Gold Group has thousands of satisfied customers, countless five-star reviews, and an A-plus rating with the BBB. To get your no-cost, no-obligation kit, just text Larry to 474747. And for a limited time, see how you can qualify for up to $10,000 in free precious metals on your purchase. That's Larry to 474747. And recall how Barack Obama said, there's more than one way of being black. First of all, and this should not be a problem for this group, be confident in your heritage. Be confident in your blackness. One of the great changes that's occurred in our country since I was your age is the realization there's no one way to be black. I take it from somebody who's seen both sides of the debate about whether I'm black or not. <laughs> Past couple months, I've had lunch with the Queen of England and hosted Kendrick Lamar in the Oval Office. There's no straight jacket. There's no constraints. There's no litmus test for authenticity. I would call myself an independent. Okay, but that's so, what we're talking about. Because I'm a big Bill Clinton party. fan. But I love him. He's the real first black president. Uh, do you buy Toni Morrison's argument that Bill Clinton was our first black president? <laughs> <laughs> do I have to say yes or no? Yes or no. Now, Colin Powell just died. Regarding his authenticity, recall what Harry Belafonte said about him. Uh, Colin Powell was permitted to come into the house of the master as long as he would serve the master according to the master's dictates. And when Colin Powell dares to suggest something other than what the master wants to hear, he will be turned back out to pasture. Like I said, it gets complicated. Recall what one quarter of the squad said, Ayanna Presley. We don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. This gets us back to Tiffany Cross. She's pretty light skin. What is her ethnic background? According to this website, the family of Tiffany Cross is limited to a single parent, her mother, Ramona Cross, and her older brother. Her mother was very young when she had her brother, and later when she was born. They had some hard time growing up. Furthermore, she had never mentioned anything about her father, as he was never involved with the family. So we don't know anything about Ms. Cross's father. Who knows? He might be Cablin Asian. Damn! So if keeping score, Sage Steele cannot question whether or not Barack Obama is black. Barack Obama can say there's more than one way of being black. Don Lamont can question whether or not Kamala Harris is African American. Harry Belafonte can question whether or not Colin Powell is authentically black. And then there's Smokey Robinson. If you choose to be called African American and that's your preference, if when you see me, you say, there goes a man who says it loud, I'm black. I'm black. I'm a black American, and I'm proud. I love being called black. Yeah, I said it, and I don't take it back. Frankly, I'm good with Sage Steele's approach. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. But then there's a, another approach, isn't there? I have a dream. My four little children 
will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. But then what do I know? After all, I'm the black face of white supremacy. You've been warned. I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to say. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my show, go check out EpicTV.com for more fantastic shows. You definitely don't want to miss this. Sign up for free today. We'll see you there.